All right. Whenever it decides it wants to load. All right. You're uh, you're gonna be red for this one. You know what? We could both be red. But now forget that. All right. So to see who goes first, roll the die. You. Hello. All right. I will take it. Like, sure, I'll take this. <laughs> um, should I? Probably not. Will I? It's better than going to six. I'll keep. I think it's better than going to six. We're going to play a forest and pass the turn. Okay. Forest, let's go in. Okay. We have seen from past experience that is a really good card in this match. Go ahead. Maybe not against the second sun decks, but against this deck, oh yeah. It, it does a number against me. We're going to play another forest into mm -hmm. a channel or initiate, Rip. and I'll need a die, and then pass turn. Where did you have? Actually, oh, my dice used to be in here in this box, but a certain someone named Evangeline Rosalind Stevens decided that she wanted to uh, play with him for a while. So, they're not in there anymore. I'm trying to teach her the joys of calling uh, a single one a die instead of dice. So anyway, it has three minus one minus one counters. Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course you're up, yeah. Sorry, this is standard. We have no plays on zero mana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Good. We each get our uh, our plays there. All right. Three mana. Mm -hmm. Four mana. Move you to two counters. How about we demolish a rebound grab? And then I will pass the turn. Some oracle text? No. I'm trying to figure something else out. Okay. So while you're doing that, let me show the camera what's in my hand. A sheep oasis. Makes sense. Uh, that's what you got to do. Death Gorge Scavenger. Okay, so this is a 3 mana 3 or 2 that when it enters the battlefield or attacks, it can get either take out exile out of the graveyard a creature or a non creature. If it's a creature, which can't be the case here, it, you gain 2 life. It's a, if it's a non creature, which I'm assuming is demolish, yep. it's plus 1 plus 1. Mm. He doesn't have to. But he might as well. Now it's plus one plus one until end of turn, yeah. so this won't do any good on the swing back, but hey, might as well. Alright, and that's that. this a number of ways. Well, 
what we're going to do though is play a mountain five, which means we're removing the counter from channeler initiate. I think that's the right play. I'm looking at the number of cards in his hand, and I could play a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to impact your oasis. I think we can afford to take one hit here. And I'll pass the turn. Just to keep him off his land base, off his mana. Give me the dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Now it gets a land or a dinosaur, so lo and behold. He could very easily get a land here to try to get himself out. No. Yep. Fair enough. Well, the dog is looking at me like, can I have that? Mm. Dude, it's spicy. Trust me. It's real spicy. Too spicy for you, boo. Uh. In for four, that's all in. No drover. Okay. Taken. I'll take four. Yep. Hello. There Good. we go. Good. Admittedly, that is not what I had been expecting. Hmm. Almost, Jag, not quite. It's probably fine to do it now, actually. No, no, it's okay. Rootbound Crag. Mm -hmm. Nissa, Vital Force. Okay. We're going to untap. One of our forests. It is a 5-5 five five until the beginning of my next turn. Mm -hmm. Or until my next turn. Whatever. And I will pass the turn. Uh, in I... your turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cycles. <laughs> okay. Whew. That's not so bad. As Evangeline would say, it's not so bad. Nevertheless, hitting his land drops. Two land destruction spells later. There it is. Go ahead. Got one cycle the shelter thicket. Mm -hmm. This is probably gone if I try to ult a little. Well, maybe not. Do I want the emblem here or not? I think I want to wait one more turn. And low we are, so that I can keep Nissa around. Tap 
two. Use Nissa to untap a forest. Play another channel initiate. You're around here somewhere. Let's get another 3D, or a D6 rather. Get another D6 out. Three. They are uh, a little noisy. Man, they are whatever chew toy they have between the two of them. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'll get it. Hey, quiet down, please, okay? Thank you. Alright. In any case, I will now pass the turn. <laughs> now you see me. Oh my goodness, look at you. Look at you, Conrad. Look at you. You're a big dog and you know it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at you. Hey, Isabella. Oh, yeah, you are too. You're a big dog. Isabel, Isabella? Isabel. Isabel. Okay. I keep forgetting. Hi, Conrad. You want me to play with your ball? Oh my goodness, I'll play with your ball. Okay. Yeah, look at you. You and your big, ooh, big claws. <laughs> that did not tickle. That did not feel good. Yeah, that's turning. Well, the cougar is coming out. Pass through. Okay. I see you over there, Conrad. So it would be nice to get the Nyssa emblem here, but if I don't turn a, one of my lands into a 5-5, then I really don't have that deterrent against Ripjaw Raptor. So do I want to... which way do I want to go? On the other hand, if I make one of them into a 5-5, the other Ripjaw Raptor could swing in regardless. And he still has other creatures out. So this is actually a decent trick. Which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to play around? And I don't know the answer, but I think it's probably best for me to keep ticking up here. So, we're going to float, green, tick up, play you. So now we have something to use against the Ripjaw Raptors. And then we will pass the turn. Can you see all the good that land destruction did earlier? Me neither. I'm sorry. Remind me. This uh, is you gain two life. Gain two life. Instead of three two. Damage. Okay. That's pretty cool. Mm. Team at Nissa, exile the world. Plus one, plus one. So four, three, 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 two, four, fives. Okay. So the five, five, one of them is obviously going to go with Ripjaw Raptor. Four okay. damage, I'll abrade it. Okay, that well, just a two. second. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, but yeah, before, so you're going to do that regardless. Yeah. Um, channel or initiate on this one. This one is going to go at. That's a good question. Does it want to trade, or does it want to simply deal with a creature? If it goes for the Drover of the Mighty, it'll take the Drover out without losing itself, but then you get through. 
Hmm. By the way, what was the braid targeting? Okay. Five, five. Okay. So if I let Nissa, if I let the drover through, then we'll trade and Nissa will take three. Go to five. I think it's fine for Nissa to be at four and for me to keep the channel initiate. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tap the channel initiate to lose the last counter. It's a three four versus your three three. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna get through and hit Nissa for four. Put Nissa down two four. Uh, this one is not going to trigger Enrage because it's a zero power creature, but it's going to die. I'll draw one. And this one's going to draw you one. Mm. Alright, so it's dead. And I'm going to float green because why not? Even though you know what's in my hand, sort of. Can you go ahead? Okay. So this one made it. Can't tap for mana anymore. But that was kind of never the point. It was for a very, very, very short time. All right. Let's see. Still have a Ripjaw Raptor to contend with. Let's see. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Yeah, it's probably fine. Uh, do I want to let you draw a card? I think in this instance I'm okay with it. So one, two, three. Sweltering Suns, kill you, kill you. You're going to gain two life and draw a card. Well, it's two damage to everything? or Three, three damage. Three damage. Yeah. And then swing in for three. Yeah. And then Nissa plus, go to five, untap a rootbound crag. Hello. We're gonna play in land, it's an ether hub. We're gonna pretend that this represents one energy because I'm too lazy to get out an energy counter. And then we are going to pass the turn. So at long last, I'm ahead on board. Although the list is slightly different than last time, you haven't actually seen any of the differences yet. I think. The shelter thicket might be new. So what? Okay. <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Um. Yeah, double strike like a, like a boss. Over to five. Okay. So obvious trade is obvious. Yep. So I'll draw a you're gonna yep. Good old draw. I'll float red. Go ahead. Okay. Well hey, I'll draw one card, Jay. Okay, that's neat. Um float. Float red plus Rootbound Crag is now a creature. It's going to kill Samot. Uh, whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. So that's not the whole combat. Channel initiate swinging at you. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Just to clarify. Whoa. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to, because I did not use my mana appropriately, we're going to play the channel initiate now. So you're at six. You're at three. The correct way to do that was to use the floating mana for rootbound, but it's okay. It's okay. And then we're going to pass the turn. And even though you're still technically a dude, I'm going to move you back here because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Cube April, at Cube April, are you watching? This is not even, <laughs> this doesn't feel like a land destruction deck. Not anymore. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see a Regisaur. I see a Regisaur. 
Well, that lasted a, a, quite a long time. Pastor. Okay. Once again, the dilemma, do I pop the Nissa now? I don't think that's right. I think I want to keep up my five fives. And so, once again, Rootbound Crag, make some mana, make some red mana, and then we'll turn you into a dude. Thou art a dude. Oh, hey, thank you. Look at Matt being a, being a super friend over here. And then I will... Nope, that's a 4-4, Jay. That's a 4-4. Pass turn. to Carnage Tyrant, so uh, land destruction spell would be nice. Yeah. I feel a Carnage Tyrant approaching. This is game one, folks. Need an angry face chip that I can put on the rootbound crag to show that it's a dude. Stop. Another? Oh, okay, stop. Okay. Uh, target trade. Or not trade, but kill. Yeah, kill. Otherwise, yeah. That would do it. Alright. It's dead, Jim. Go ahead. Although, I think if you had hit the 3-4, that probably would have been the better play, I think. Unless I'm missing something, and I might be. But this is a 3-4, that's a 4-4 four four now, right? Yeah. So do you want to take out the 3-4 instead? Okay, uh, there's, there's something I just don't know, that's all. It's not usually a good idea to assume you know more than your opponent. <laughs> it usually doesn't end well. Alright, now once again I can set up a 5-5. I really strongly feel there's a Carnage Tyrant in my future though. Gee, I don't know why. If I pop the Nissa now, I can try to draw myself out in this game. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. Three. Yeah, it's not looking super good. I mean, this card doesn't do me any good for... Yeah, it doesn't really do me any good anymore. And if Nyssa turns into a one loyalty creature, at least that still draws an attack. Alright, Nyssa's gonna pop for her ult. Mm -hmm. I have an emblem. I will start drawing cards like it's nobody's business. So I'm gonna draw a card here. Two. I will make a Channeler Initiate on three. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn. 
Show me thy trample. Drover. Okay, that makes sense. No haste for you, though. Death Forge. God. Exile Sweltering Suns. Sweltering Suns. Okay, so it's a 4 3. Go to combat. Till end of turn. Okay. 4 8. Uh, swing Exile Forest. Yes. So it's 5 it's a 5 4. four. Nisa dies. Yeah, all of the <laughs> Nisa. Um, so the, the short answer is, yeah, Nissa dies. 4-4 um, four, four, trample, 4-4 four, four, no trample, 5-4. Four, four. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I want to try to trade here. And I don't know that there is. Alright, so the most I can get rid of, you're going to have Trample regardless. You're going to give other stuff haste. Man, this does not get any better, does it? This does not get any better. This card. This card. This card. Alright. Yeah, you're not going to be able to deal with anything on your own anyway, so, yeah, Nissa dies. <laughs> Nissa, you've done a world of good, and I'm not even entirely sure that I should have ulted you there, but if I can find another one, it's all worth it. That's the turn? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> There's the top deck. Like I said, if I can find another one, it's all worth it. So... You get a braided, I believe is the correct play. All right. Let's draw a card, go to three energy. Oh my goodness. What a useful, useless card. Um, one, two, three, four, five which is going to remove a counter from you. Nissa, Vital Force, of course. Nissa is going to plus and turn this here mountain into a Deuterino. Ahem, <coughs> a braid. Overstaying its welcome a little bit. And... Then, yeah, this is the game. Then I will pass the turn. Go, Nissa, off the top. There is no reason for that other than stupid amounts of luck. I put all my points into luck. It's nice that now that land destruction spells do nothing, I'm not drawing any of them. At least there's that. Dark Or Nissa that can dies. happen. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Alright, all of them at Nissa, I assume? Mm hmm Okay. How do I want to do this? You are a 3-2. You are a 3-3. Three, three. So you're going to block one of these. You are going to block one of these. I mean, regardless of how I do this, this is going to take seven here and, and die, unfortunately. So it's just which two creatures I want to eat right here. And I think the answer should probably be the one that's giving everything haste. <laughs> and... I'm not so worried about the life gain on you. And you have two toughness, which matters occasionally. Uh, we're going to probably take, probably Drover of the Mighty here. Alright, 
So these two get eaten, and there's no tradesies going on there. However, Nissa, sorry. You've done your work. You have indeed done your work. Custom. Okay. Cool. So now if I see a Carnage Tyrant, it's not the end of the world until the next turn. <laughs> right on time, buddy. Right on time. Hello. That dog sounds, uh, constipated. Always worrying about something. Yeah, indeed. Alright. One, two, three. Use up a counter. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so cute. Um, hmm. Colorless? Mm hmm. We're going to demolish your rootbound crag. Sure. Get you out of carnage tyrant range until you draw a land. That card is troublesome. I am not so looking forward to it. So that's three instead then? Or? Yeah, that's still on two counters, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, still on two counters. I didn't know if you moved it or not. No. Because I used it last turn for something or other. Mm, yeah, that's why that's I was right. tapped. That's why I couldn't block with it, sadly. Um, I what I would have done to untap that somehow. Um, or to have tapped my mana differently. That said, we are going to pass the turn. Ooh, get those get those taps in on my hands. Hey, draw another land. I mean, I don't think you have any artifacts in the deck, so that's Four. what I'd be worried about. Four? Okay. Block, tap, so it's a 2-3 and a 3-4 blocking. You will take one of them out. Which one would you like to take out? Probably the bigger one, I'm guessing. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say the bigger one. Yeah, I'm going to take that okay. out. The Trazies are real. Go ahead. All right. Now, admittedly, though, that was half a card, that token was, so you still came out of that on top. Hello. Hello. Red. Red. Green. Yeah, this is fine. Sweltering Suns, you're going to gain two life. You're going to survive by the skin of your teeth. Is that the expression? The skin of your teeth? I don't know. In any case, one, two, three. I'm going to have to use an energy here. For Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Chandra's gonna plus for the sake of plussing. Let's exile a card off the top. Oh geez, I can't cast that. Ah, it's gonna deal two to you. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn. It's Chandra at five. I've heard some people say Chandra, which is sometimes the case, but more usually it's Chandra. More usually, the CH is pronounced CH. Game two. Yeah, yeah, we, we sort of got there. And that's the draw, and that's the. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Alas. So, I'm actually a big fan of the Super Mario 64, not the speedrunning community, but the A button challenge community which is trying to use the A button as few times as they possibly can. Now, if you know nothing else about Super Mario 64, you know that Mario jumps a lot, and the A button is used for jumping. The kinds of things that they have to do to go out of their way to not ever hit the jump button are pretty astounding. There's this internet meme that got started from uh, one of the runners' channels called Panenkoek2012, which is, I think, Danish for pancake. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this hand. It's better than going to six, I'll keep it. I'll go with it. Okay, so you're up. It became an internet meme. Two. Yep. Where he goes on for... May I draw and be thinking about my turn while you do that? Sure. Okay, I won't actually play until you decide. He goes on and... Um, 
without pressing the A button, goes through one of the levels, like, it has to stand in a single spot for 12 Dude. hours in order to make it work. 12 freaking hours. Go ahead. Um, has to position these enemies called scuttlebugs in exactly the right spot. I made a meme video on my channel Dude. about it. Thank you. Um, you remember that... There we go. There's some Mario for you. Do you remember that 0 0.5 mana video I made? That's what it's from. Um, I think it's probably best for me to kill it with fire, sure. and then pass turn. Kill it with desert, I guess, is how that works flavorfully. This is an interesting card as far as flavor is concerned. The desert is a voracious beast, devouring both flesh and stone. Go ahead. Don't make me kill that thing again. You know I will. Wait, you did play land. Mm-hmm. Um, so this might not actually do me any good at all. But we're gonna do it. Sweltering Suns, kill it. Pass turn. There's a cat trap somewhere. Oh, that cat. Cute cat. Go ahead. In this video, I demonstrate how I collect zero. What was it? How I collect Watch for Rolling Rocks and 0.5 A presses. But first, we need to clear something up because every time I post a half mana video, half mana, that was my version of it, half A press video, I get the same comments over and over asking what it means. In response. Uh oh. Cycle. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's a turn. Go ahead. Okay, okay. What color does his deck need more, YouTube? Leave it down in the comments. We are going to play a forest. Going to play a forest. And I think it's green. I can't remember off the top of my head any double red spells he has, but I can think of some double green spells. So we're going to violent impact one of your forests, whichever one you'd like less. And then we're going to pass the turn. Kick! <laughs> the land destruction spell. This is standard. There are more lands. I, I shouldn't be surprised. I really ought not to be. Um, there are a number of ways that I can take this, and so let me give the obvious ones. So, this is my hand, YouTube. The short-term play is you. That's pretty, pretty clear to me. However, if I play these two, then I can play this one where that's slightly higher, or I can play this one where it is right now. And if I do, I have some, some interesting ones to get. I don't actually know which one's right. Right now, he's not putting any pressure on me. But he does have four cards in hand and four lands. He has green green, and he hasn't played a Rip Jaw Raptor. I'm really worried about him having just this ludicrously high curve hand. Or maybe he's stuck with, stuck with a bunch of Savage Stomps and no creatures to use them on. That's not implausible either. Um... I think it's probably better for me to go with this play. So we're going to do Mountain into... There's a Channel or Initiate on three counters, and we're going to pass the turn and hope for the best. Assume the worst, but hope for the best. And Fifth Land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see a Regisaur. Glory bringer. <gasps> I assume you're exerting yeah, it. Exerting. Yeah, Okay. Well, that's okay. This is not the worst thing that could have happened. I'm at 16. Yep. 
Is that? I hope I've had that bright enough this whole time, because if not, oops. It's a little too late to take that back. All right, so we know that we have a turn of reprieve from the glory bang bringer. Glory banger. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Um, <laughs> given that, hmm, <sighs> since you're exerted, you can't go out right now. I have a turn, I can do whatever I want. Chandra? Mm-hmm. My goodness, girl. If I flame slash the glory bringer, I don't have to do that right now because it exerted itself. I'm actually going to plus here. We're going to reveal the top card, exile the top card. It's a druid. Hey, we actually get to legitimately cast this thing. And then we're going to pass the turn. That worked. That's not usually how that goes. With my luck. Alright. Did I play any Chandra land destruction defeat. spells? Oh! And it's a Chandra you hit! Uh, discard's not a stop. Sure. Yep. I called the Savage Talk correctly. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate. Okay, Regisar. Show me your moves. Okay, so the Chandra play was a little bit greedy. I'll take it. Go to 13. Go ahead. All right. How can I do this? You fly. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I love how they're playing with each other and then just suddenly <laughs> at the end. <laughs> there we go. I like to imagine that there's a cat in the middle who is very much not enjoying this. Okay, potential for seven mana here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That doesn't get me anywhere. I guess that's fine. We're going to Abrade your 3-3, three, three, and then untap, put you on 6, of course. So much for getting your emblem next turn. That's not going to happen, but lo and behold, you, uh, you won't die next turn. Pass turn. In all likelihood. Of course, I just jinxed it, so we'll see. Okay. Ripjaw. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. How many lands? You had tapped six for that? Okay. 
He makes it cost one less. That's right, that's right. He does that on this turn. Uh, exert five to... Uh, it exert four, four to yeah, it. Four yeah. to it. All at Nissa. So this thing is going to die no matter what. It's probably better that I trade with a Ripjaw Raptor here. Yeah. Instead of giving you more card advantage down the line. So, sorry Nissa, you sure. once again, once again are gone, my fair lady. But, you did, you did something. You fogged yeah. me for a turn. No, for some reason. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah. Here, I'll pause for a second. I did, because I think that was my draw. Oh, I had moved over to my turn already. I didn't... Oh, go ahead. You're fine. All right. Well, I've already drawn, and I'm at 13. Well, this is awkward. think what I'm supposed to do, that is exerted, mm -hmm. so I think what I'm supposed to do here is Wildest Dreams x equals 2, get back 2 cards from my graveyard, and then exile it. Nyssa and Chandra, best friends forever, BFFs. And then, pray, and pass the turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So this is sort of regrowth. It's one of the new cards from this iteration of the deck. Mm. Although I was hoping to get X equals 3, obviously that did not come to fruition. Oh, that's just a 1-3. Just a 1-3. Doesn't do anything else except make some green mana. Mm. Ooh. I will <laughs> randomly jump with my 1-3 against your 1-2, and I'll take 4. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I guess it's not so random. It makes sense. Alright. Sacrificial Chandra. Go to 1. Last turn. <laughs> She's a four mana flame slash, dude. That's that's limited playable. Cassandra. I mean, in this case, because she's dead anyway, it's not even a point in blocking with the druid. Just in case there's like a magma jet or magma spray or a shock. Whatever it is, coming my way, so. But, coming to a theater near you, I'm assuming this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. When one planeswalker goes down, another comes to take its place. Nissa on six. There we go. Pass turn. This deck is finally not sucking quite as much as it could. Now, if you're wondering why I'm holding these back, there's a, a pretty obvious reason. Oh my god. I swear, it's like I never cast a land destruction spell this whole game. All of graveyards. All of our graveyards. Yeah. Forgot scavenging grounds was symmetric, symmetrical. Uh, how sheep on register? Yep. Um, I'm sorry. May I? Mm -hmm. Mix it with seven seven. Okay. I needed to. Oh yeah, that's in your grave. You're right. You're right. 
You sequence that correctly. I've read this a hundred million times. You give other dinosaurs haste, the token you make says trample, you are otherwise a vanilla, so you are a 7-7. Seven, seven. You are a 1-2 that makes other dinosaurs have haste if you tap it and makes them cheaper. So it doesn't matter if I block with you and you, I'm still not going to kill the Regisaur Alpha, but you don't have trample, so I can do this, I'm assuming you're attacking Anissa. Mm. And then this, Druid gets utterly destroyed, Huntmaster gets destroyed, float green because why not? Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was about to ask the question, but this answered my question. So, I guess we do it now. Pop the Nissa for her ult. I have a Nissa ult out. Ether Hub on, you know, there's one energy, draw a card. Have to tap that a little differently. Didn't quite go the way I had hoped. There we go. Arborback Stomper. I'll gain five life. So this is my one life gain card in the deck. And then I will pass the turn. It's a 5-4. That gained me 5 life and has trample. That's about it. Admittedly, that was my top deck, which helped to change my mind about Nyssa there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good god. Carnage Tyrant. Yep. Not much I can do to play around that there. That there tar Carnage Tyrant. Well, we're going to jump here. Now, what am I going to do about Carnage Tyrant? I'm on a two-turn clock. No, really, what am I going to do about Carnage Tyrant? If I block the Regisar, outs. Chandra, double damage spell. N Blocking the Carnage Tyrant, it has Trample, so I'm not even stopping that much damage. I think this is the correct play. So we're going to trade here. Take 7, go to 7. I have an Emblem. I can draw myself out of this. Maybe. Maybe. Hub, draw a card. By the way, you're on 2. Cycle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not what I need to see. Not what I need to see. Channel or initiate? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to draw myself out of this, give myself as much time as I can. Go to one. Channel or initiate? They're going to share a counter. Pass turn. Just Savage Stomp for the win, please. Or Brave one of them. Okay. Chump, go to one. Go ahead. Okay. Top decks of glory. Top decks of glory. Is there a top deck that can get me out of this? I do not know. But it's not you. Land, draw a card. Hey, I drew two. It doesn't matter, because I'm dead. Okay, game three. Game three. Look at that, 20 to 1. Here you go. There we go. Your hand was secretly on the bottom. That's apparently how that worked. Alright, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. 
I think I have to keep. I think this is better than going to six. So let me show what's going on here. Flip this screen. Hello, comrade. <laughs> Good dog. Okay, so this is why I think I have to keep. It's not ideal, especially given all of this. I mean, just look at that curve. Look at that curve. But, I think it's fine. Oh, he's going to say, oh. Okay, well, this is probably okay then. Still, not like this. While you're doing that, I'm going to go get some water, if that's all right. Ooh. Get some water. W-A-D-A, water. Although, if I remember correctly, I think in Japanese that's the word for evil. Wada. I had a friend whose last name, his surname was Wada. Was that an exchange student from Japan? I think that's what I remember him saying it was. I'm not entirely sure, though. Okay, this is a silly cut. You can, you can go. <laughs> Sorry. Six and a half. All right, we're keeping. All right, so I will start off with an evolving wilds pass. I'm gonna save you some time. Go ahead. Okay. No commune. Fair enough. Alright, my friend. Hey, there we go. We have ourselves a druid and a pastor. Go ahead. Alright. Hmm. Well, on two lands. Um, on two green lands, no less. Although, again, there's not a lot of double red in your deck. I think it's probably fine for me to run out the initiative here. And I'm actually going to swing at you for one, oddly enough. Just, oh, yeah, whoever's got it. And then I'll pass the turn. Oh. Top deck land. Yep. Hi, Death Gorge. The wild. Alright, might as well, right? Go ahead. Alright. But to be clear, it's until end of turn, so it's it's back to being a 3 2. With no other cards in the yard right now. Although that card is looking awfully silly right now. It's okay. We're going to remove a counter from you, put you at two, one, two, three, four. I'm going to violently impact one of your lands and see if I can land screw you this game. It's a very technical magic term. Um, yeah, we're gonna pass. Going to pass. Hey. I guess I'm not. Maybe keep you off the raptor for one turn. Savage storm. <sighs> Yikes. That's a that hurts. That hurts, Storing, dog. Get rid of the impact. Impact. Okay. Hit me for three, four, five. Yep. Hit me for five. Go ahead. Right where it hurts. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna run it out. You made me do it, man. You made me do it. Still a three toughness creature. Swing at you for one? Sure. Pass turn? You can turn second. Okay. <laughs> this is a fun game. I love magic. I love magic! I love magic! <laughs> I swear, I love magic.
through Bound Crag. I love magic. 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 Pester. And before it takes four. Or more now. Hey, I did not see that drill from the mighty. <laughs> yeah, sorry. When real life dictates the plot. Gotta take it. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, it's four. End of turn, I'll cycle a sweltering sentence. Mm -hmm. Sadly, that one cycles for three. Not what I needed to see, but at least it got me one card deeper. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think we get there this game, I'm afraid. This sucks so much. Pass turn. You're gonna cycle a sweltering sentence in response? Okay. Okay. Alright. Go ahead. Nissa, mm -hmm. untap, an ether hub, there is an energy, but whatever. Nope, that's game regardless. All you have to do is swing at me. Yep. Good job. Yeah, this is the improved version of the deck and it still didn't quite get the job done. Alright. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I miss... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Howdy, howdy, you two. You just missed the stunning conclusion where he just thrashes me. Alright. Uh, I, knew I it. love it. I said I bet he did. Come on, Shay. Oh, God, he's naked. <laughs> I'll be honest, from a game man's perspective, it looks a lot better, Shay. Just, just get me. that on camera. <laughs> Y'all are trying to be shaved up. Everyone have a book. <laughs> they haven't seen the video of Evangeline's reaction. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I need baby. to show that. I need to show that. Hey, baby. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. cards I sideboarded. Um, actually, none of them showed up this game, but for game of two, they certainly did. There's Murderous Gear Hulk right on the bottom where it needs to be. Of course. Oh my god, stop. There's Chargers Defeat. Also, as far from Ridge as our Alpha as it could be. And then Arbor Back Stomper, just to give me some life back and be a, a huge body, a 5 4. Although, I must have missed one, apparently. So, ah, uh, there you are. Okay, cool. So these are the cards that came in. For the cards that came out, there are six of them, they were all land destruction spells because this is not quite the match for them. So we have uh, three, four Demolish, should be, and there it is, and two Creeping Mold. Creeping Mold is slightly more useful, although I don't know that you have any enchantments in the deck, in which case Demolish is actually better. But just in case it's an enchantment comes out from the sideboard, like Blood Sign, Creeping Mold is there. So anyway, that's uh, that's how I did it. Chandra's Defeat. OP.
Except it didn't want to show up. Birders Gear Hulk. Awesome in this match. Beats Carnage Tyrant. If it would show up. Oh well. Alright, so you brought in, I'm seeing two Chandra's Defeat, two Glorybringers, two Carnage Tyrant. You upped your curve against the Land Destruction deck. I commend you, but then again, you also probably guessed I took out Land Destruction spells, I would think. Because, you know, they're really great in a mid-range deck. In a mid-range matchup. No.